Hey guys, it's CSVN001 here, welcoming you to yet another Game With Every Gun video. This time, we're looking at the SCAR-L Assault Rifle, which is a pretty good gun in my opinion. I gotta say, it's good. I don't care what anyone says, it may not be the SCAR-H of uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2, but it's a pretty good weapon. Now, this was my very first game using the SCAR. I remember it exactly, so... This was without any of the proficiencies, without any attachments. You see, I like doing... Just to address something, I really like doing this game with every gun series with the guns when they're basically naked. If you know what that means, that basically means, like, starting level of them, like, right when you start with them. I like doing that, like, just without attachments, without proficiencies, without any of that stuff. Because, one, it allows me to get the videos done faster, so I don't have to worry about them later. And, two, it really shows what the gun is capable of, like... I think that this gives the most accurate representation of the guns is that if you do them in this way when they're naked completely, like when you don't have anything on them, this shows what the guns really are supposed to be capable of. I don't know what I got killed by there. So this is going to give a good accurate representation of what the gun is, and but pretty much any gun can be better than what you see in these videos if you put, you know, attachments and proficiencies on it and work with it for a while. So, the SCAR-L, it is a full-auto, 30-round assault rifle. It has the advantages of good accuracy, low recoil, it has good power, it has a decent clip size. Uh, pretty much the same clip size as most of the assault rifles, for that matter, but, uh... And it has a pretty good fire rate, as far as I can tell, so, uh... Stupid striker noob, but anyway... Uh, it doesn't really have any significant disadvantages that I can think of, or really any disadvantages compared to the other assault rifles, and thanks, dude, for saving me there. But as far as I can tell, it really doesn't have, like, any real advantages or disadvantages versus the other assault rifles. Or, I mean, it has advantages. I mean, it doesn't really have any serious disadvantages versus all the other assault rifles. And I like the weapon. It's a great weapon. And I ended up picking up the flag here. It's Team Defender, of course, on C-Town, if you couldn't already tell that. So, uh, anyway, so in my opinion, it's another beast weapon, another beast assault rifle. It's easy to use, it's great for about any mode, it has a good fire rate with the high damage, good accuracy and range, it's just an overall great weapon. I would give it a 9 out of 10, probably. Well, probably like an 8.5 out of 10. But it's a great weapon, I really like it. I mean, once again, this was in naked, and I think I ended up with a pretty good game, too. So we're going to want to fast forward it here. So yeah, of the assault rifles, this I think is the best one we've covered yet. I think it's personally de it's definitely better than the M16. I think it's better than the M4, personally. I've had a lot more luck with the SCAR than with the M4. I liked it a lot in Modern Warfare 2 as well, and I think it's still pretty good in this game as well. I just pulled out the FMG9 there, and then get killed somehow, but I mean, I pulled out the FMG9 there. But hey, it's a suppressed single FMG9. It's not an Akimbo FMG9. I don't consider that to be too big of a noob move. So, nothing much there, but that guy had his uh, Osprey there. Care package Osprey. Get my EMP, so I actually got 18 kills for the first time in the Soul Rifle series. At this point in time, though, with some of the later weapons, it's not that hard to do. Really laggy. I don't know why it's so laggy. And let's slow it down to about a two times. Pull out that FMG9 again. Pull out the scar. Get a kill. Gonna get any more kills. Oh, we're gonna pull out the FMG9 here. We're gonna get a kill. Suppress the FMG9. Get another kill. Get killed by a freaking stealth bomber. And get a kill and a death at the same time. I don't know why that wasn't registering. So we barely lose that match just by 300 points as it's 7,500. So we only lost by 300 points. So really, it was pretty close. And I ended up being in the match winning kill, getting killed by a uh, noob sensor. Well, AC, an ACR with a heartbeat sensor for noobs. So I ended up with a 23 and 17. Not a great game, but it, once again, it was pretty much my first game with the uh, scar on this prestige. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. And I, I like the SCAR a lot, as I said before, probably about an 8.5. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time we cover the CM901, a surprising weapon. Not going to spoil anything else, but very surprising. In
my opinion. 